The Story of Edgar Sawtell, written by David Rumpolsky. All I have ever been is mute. The only people who understand me are my dad, mom, and all my dogs. Now that I am older, my parents gave me my own dog so that I can begin to breed dogs just like my family has. Almondine is what I will name her, since all my dogs' names come from a dictionary. Uncle Claude recently came to town. All he wanted to do was fight with Dad. When I came into the barn, I did not know what to do. I tried calling 911, but no one could hear me, because I am mute. What I was trying to say was, help, my father is dying. I left the phone, went back into the barn, and had to watch him suffer and die. Now that Dad is gone, I am expected to take care of the dogs, and now Mom is sick with pneumonia. We have no choice now except to have Uncle Claude come and help on the farm. Something is wrong in the barn tonight, and the dogs won't stop barking. I go out to check on them to see what is going on, and there it is in front of me. The raindrops form into my father's figure. I am in shock, but he is trying to show me something. There it is, hidden, a syringe that Claude had used before. Why was he showing me this? Was this something that led to his death? I realize now just what is happening. My Uncle Claude killed my father, and he will know that I know just what happened. My mom and Claude now have a romantic relationship, and I can't stop her because she is making me leave the house. They think I killed our vet. I come back only to find my uncle trying to kill me because I know where the poison is, the poison that he put in the syringe to kill my father. He killed my father, so now I will kill him. This is how the barn went into flames.